Good morning, and welcome to the wonderful world of Des Moines. Now just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I thought we I'm would... I'm not doing it. <laughs> you're not doing what? Oh, yeah. you're not going to say hello? Yeah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, Craig, I want to mention, Craig has been watching a lot of videos about the Minions Cafe, Universal Studios, right? The new mm -hmm. one. Um, what kind of foods are they going to have? The roast beef and chair sandwich. Mm -hmm. The rock. The rock, yeah. The antidote. Mm -hmm. Does the rock taste like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. That's what they're saying. Um, what about that tomato soup you're talking to me about? about? The gooey soup. Yeah. You mean the, it has the that, gummy bear? The gummy bear in the middle of it? Yeah. Are you going to yeah. try that soup? No. Well, what about one spoon if I get it? Yeah, one spoon. Okay. <laughs> um, which thing are you the most excited about trying? The roast beef sandwich with cheese. Yeah, because it kind of looks like an Arby's roast beef. <laughs> Craig's, I've been seeing Craig watching a, lo a lot of videos about the Minions Cafe. Um, I'm excited about that, too. Tonight, I wanted to do this taste test Craig's been anxious for. We found the S'more M&M's. Where'd you find those at, Craig? Walmart? Yeah, I think we were. I, I can't mm -hmm. even remember mm -hmm. wherever you're at. It was last week. I'm going to have to think about that. Let's see if these taste like s'mores. Okay. Okay, now. Here, cheers. That, no, no, no time for that. <laughs> Craig's got, got important things to get back to. Let me see the bag. Hmm? It is tastes like s'mores. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait, right here. Yeah, marshmallowy taste. I'm not sure about the graham cracker. Okay, we'll try, try one of every color. Try them together. That's what I'm going to try. What, in case they yeah. are separated? I never mm -hmm. thought about that. Hmm. Nope. Well, it tastes like s'mores to me. A lot of not talking there. I just, I don't get hardly anything with chocolate. Well, it has just the slightest. Maybe bit. it's the marshmallow flavor. It's That's got a little bit of an maybe vanilla flavor. Well, it'd be marshmallows. At first, when I bit down, I thought it was mm -hmm. tasting mm -hmm. like cappuccino or something, but yeah. Yeah, I don't really get s'mores, but yep. yeah. I probably wouldn't waste my money on them. <laughs> Can I go Good now? marketing employee. They got you to buy Thank you. Okay. Big sad. All right. Mm. Now I need a drink of water. On to the rest of the show. <laughs> yes. Um, take me a minute to get all that swallowed. So, to start off with tonight, I thought of something I wanted to ask everyone about because this is something that we um, struggle with sometimes. And that is when Craig has to go to a public restroom and one of us can't go in with him, especially when he and I are out alone. Um, and I've never been aware of what happens in the restroom when Craig's there because I don't go in the men's restroom, but Bennett and Joe, uh, both have and in fact Bennett won't let Craig go to the bathroom by himself if he's along he always says oh I'll go I have to go to the bathroom too and he goes with um Craig yeah yeah Bennett and I pretty much do exactly the same we at, well, like we if, get a drink. if we get up at a at a restroom or if, at a restroom at a restaurant and Craig needs to go to the restroom one of us will get up and go too and the trip to the restroom is telling Craig that there's rules for the bathroom. And 
to make sure he understands that these are things he needs to be doing that are appropriate. You, not a lot of loud talking, you know, the typical stuff when you're in, when you're in a, a, a crowded area that there's not a lot of people talking. And usually when you walk into a men's restroom, <laughs> all the guys know, it's just like, whew, no talking. You look, it's, you look straight ahead, you do your business, and you get, you go wash hands and get out. That's how it's supposed to go. Well, Craig is like, you know, very vocal and everything. Mm -hmm. So we always remind him, you know, be as quiet as you can in there. And he'll usually have to do some throat clearing or something like that. And, but the biggest thing is you have to watch because Craig doesn't like to just typically just pull the front of his pants down to go to the bathroom. Worked on, we've been, work, we've worked on that. And it's just something that I don't know why he just feels so comfortable. He just wants to drop his drawers to his ankles and go to the bathroom. If there's stalls available, especially with doors, which it used to, it used to be a lot of, and a lot of old, old places maybe still have that, but the stalls, they all have doors on them now. And I can remember being in places that didn't have doors on the stalls, but they do. So he'd go and he can shut the door and, and he can do his business that way. If he's just, if he just has to urinate and he get, and he's done. But when he's got to go really bad, and if he goes by himself, I caught him one time at Walmart. He was getting, he got ahead of me. That something stopped me for just a, a second or two. And he got in there and he's going to the bathroom in a urinal and he's got his pants down on his ankles. And he'd done that to Bennett one time too. And we both told him, you don't know, you go in a stall or you wait or, or you come right back out to the table and say, I, I couldn't go. It was full and then somebody could try to so yeah so that's what we i'm still occasionally like at home i'll still try to work with him on that but he's just he's just afraid he's gonna pee on his hands or something mm -hmm. like that and it just it just literally freaks him out and craig's a creature of habit like mm -hmm. it's hard for him yep. to change something he's yeah. been and doing if, and if that's the, to him if that's the easiest way to do it if he's by himself, that will be the way Craig does it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so we have to watch that with him, you know, cause you-, you Which poses a problem when I, it's just him and me because mm -hmm. actually sometimes I'm glad he's making noise in there because then I know he's okay. Well, yeah. um, but I also have been thinking uh, maybe it, when it's available, um, if there's a family restroom, having him go in there and then I can wait outside because that way I'll know he's in there by himself anyway. Um, I went in some place. It was, I think it was uh, one of the local malls. I think it was Merle Hay and that's an older, more rundown mall. In yeah, they have now. a family restaurant. Yeah, but they got, well, they got like a bank of three of them and mm -hmm. then a regular men's and women's uh, restroom as well. I stepped into the men's restroom and went to open up a stall and it looked like somebody had had a poop balloon and just throw it against mm. the wall and it was just everywhere. And the, and the next two were the same way. Oh, wow. But it just, but, and you could tell it was real. It was like, you gotta be kidding me. So I went down to a family restroom and just waited. I just used one of them on my own. I'm like, I'm not, there's no way I'm going in there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, and we'll look around for those. They have them all over in Universal and everything. But mm -hmm. even for Craig's protection, Right, that well, that worries yeah, me. Yeah, we need we mm -hmm. need to find better ways of doing that. And if you walk, like if you walk into the uh, uh, Genesis or the YMCA or something like that, <coughs> you could also ask at the desk. Hey, is if especially if it's a guy, hey, could you go check, make sure there's no one in the restroom? Mm -hmm. Craig needs to use it. He's autistic and and he needs some space. Yeah. And then you could, he could go to the restroom and you could stand there and say, just a second, my son's in there and he, he, he needs to be, be alone. Mm -hmm. And then Craig would come back out. It's a, it's one way you could do it, mm -hmm. especially when you've got, you got paid attendance and everything there. I'm sure they would all be happy to do it too. Mm -hmm. But family restrooms, yeah, we need to know like at Universal where they're all at. Mm -hmm. And just, yeah. just, we'll just play that, that part of the game unless, well, down there I'll be with him all the time anyway. So. Mm -hmm. Um, so that covers that. Uh, yeah, any, do you if you, any yeah, do you have any, any trouble with that? Do you have anything specific you do or any ideas? would love to hear from you. Um, 
something else uh, I was thinking about that they did with Craig when he was uh, still in preschool. He had occupational therapy um, for a while and they did brushing with him. They had this little brush, which Almost I remember like it being, brush, but... it was plastic bristles, right? Yep. They were yep. really fine. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Three of them actually made them at that yeah. time. Yeah. And they would brush, I'd... as far as I can remember, they just brushed his, his we just brushed just his, his arms, arm. right? It was just his arms. And well, I would, when I was reading back through my journals, I was reading that, uh, <laughs> Keep journaling. I'm okay. <laughs> when I was reading back through my journals, I came across the part about the brushing and it said that the occupational therapist um, was going to show us a way to brush with pressure. I don't, I don't remember what that was though. Um, apparently I kind of remember this, that I wasn't really impressed with the occupational therapist because she didn't show up a lot of the times and she would call right before we had meetings and then not be able to be there. Uh, I thought that if I read thing was more into my anyway. notes, maybe I can find more. Um, do they even do that anymore? I don't know. That's what I was wondering. Do they still use the brushing and has anyone had success with it? At that time, you know, with Craig, it was hard to tell because there was so much going on. Yeah. I mean, now it would probably be easier to tell if, I mean, I think it could be a comforting thing because it feels good when like someone scratches your back or, or combs your hair. So maybe, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think it was a they, calming. I remember they only did the top of his arm. They didn't do the bottom right. because it was, the, the skin there is sensitive. You ever had anybody pinch you under the mm -hmm. arm? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, do they still do that? And let me know if that helped you. Uh, the the other thing that I was also in my notes was weighted vests. I think they tried that on Craig in preschool, but I don't remember any like amazing results. And we we did try a weighted blanket um, a few years back, and he didn't like it at all. Yeah, and they had a oh, it was like a bean bag type thing with heavier beans that was like, like it was, it was gave the like the, a cocoon kind of feeling when he'd mm -hmm. sat down in it and then they would bring the rest of it around and kind of put pressure on him. And I, I don't think he really even cared for that mm -hmm. at all. I don't think Craig, like, you know, they had the swings back then too yeah. that they used and Craig didn't really, I don't know that he cared that much for that. I think he liked it okay, it was swinging, but I don't think it, it was a big deal. Like I remember there were some uh, other boys that they did that with them a lot because it calmed them. Yeah, Craig did, I mean, if you went around in circles, that's something I don't know if we've ever touched on, is early in, early in Craig's life, up till, I don't know, maybe 12 or so, Craig couldn't, you could not get Craig dizzy. Craig could, Craig could sit in a, in a room, do you remember that? He used to be able to stand mm -hmm. in a room and spin in circles, not to going around. He would just spinning, zoom, 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 mm -hmm. and he could do, he could just do that and stop and look at you and then walk out of the room. Yeah, he, I mean he'd spin like 15, 20 times. It would it would just knock me to the floor, almost make me want to vomit. And he could do mm -hmm. that. I just couldn't believe that. He just, but when he did it, he turned his. I can't really do very good, out, but he. His he was eyes. doing the um, peripheral vision yeah. thing. Yeah, he was looking which out. Which is an autistic trait. Yeah, he was looking out at the side as he was going around instead of mm -hmm. looking forward. I remember he had a time where he did a lot of that, where he would hold something up and look mm -hmm. at it to yeah. the side. Yeah, he wanted to see when it appeared to where, even though he's mm -hmm. looking straight, but then he'd always, he'd fudge and he'd, he'd turn his eyes and look at it. But. Mm -hmm. Um... So yeah, those are some things that I remember them trying with Craig. Uh, he didn't have occupational therapy for a very a long period of time because I remember, and I did have that in my notes, that the occupational therapist wanted to cut it down to like half because she felt like Craig had made so much progress that he didn't really need that, which is sadly um, what happens. <laughs> what, what happened to us a lot is that as soon as Craig would show progress, they'd decide, well, he doesn't need that anymore. So it was kind of a curse if you did too well because then they would cut services. 
Um, hopefully they don't do that anymore. Yeah, it's like in baseball, if you, you get, yeah. Doesn't matter how you got on first base, you know, well, that's like a home run. You score, and then they just, like you're gonna call the game after you got on first base, you know, so yeah. We had some of our stuff. Ox occupational therapist was probably the worst. Mm -hmm. That this the services just were not very good. Right. They, they just, didn't have very many people, on. and, and they, they just really seemed very untrained. Yeah, that's what they I had just, in my they notes. They just threw them into the field so she didn't, fast. She didn't seem like she really understood yeah. it herself. Yeah. Um. And that's why I mean, in war, you know, those young guys—they're the first ones in in the field to get killed and everything. And unfortunately, you know, these girls and guys that would have been doing that, they're the first ones that were going to get really burnt out on it when, and not know what they're doing. So they would just leave the field. I do so think they it, struggled to it's, keep them. It's great now with all of the awareness of not only autism, but other disabilities. I feel like there's a lot more young people going into that field now. Um, a lot more interest and understanding, and I think that's great. Girl, Grandpa, in case anybody was wondering. <laughs> or... <laughs> and that's, I guess, all I have to say on that. It has been 16 minutes. Um, <laughs> but we have a fun rest of the video. Craig and I went to um, Indianola, went, took back the cans, which is one of his favorite things to do, and went to Walmart, we ate at Wynn's Pizza, went to Many Hands Thrift, and went to the YMC. It's not really the YMCA anymore, but it's the same place we always went. And I think we had a really good day, and Craig did a good job with everything. So I stayed home and babysat. Yeah, <laughs> little, poor little Josie. She's yeah. uh, she's still sick. She did go to the doctor today, and it looks like it's some kind of like a viral infection. Upper respiratory. Yeah, upper respiratory infection. Um, she's still running a temperature and gets really like tired and. She's just not playing like she usually does. Although Stephanie sent us a video a little bit ago of her eating her dinner and she looked much perkier than she did when she was here. So yeah. hopefully she's on the mend. Yep. And, and, I, and I'm starting to feel the effects. Yeah, of the now, so of now we're waiting for who's yeah, next. It's going to domino <laughs> through us too. So Hopefully before we go on vacation. <laughs> yeah. when, when, after she'd been sick and everything, just laying on me and everything, it was just mm -hmm. like... I'm okay with that, though. <laughs> That's know? right. I love yeah. to snuggle a little baby. She's not a baby anymore. She's she our baby. <laughs> she is to me still. Okay, so we better get going. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Peace. All right, today is... What's today, Craig? Monday, sep I mean, Friday, <laughs> September 1st. And we are on our way to Indianola to, what are we going Take to do? Take the cans to Walmart. Mm -hmm. What else are we going to do? lunch at Wynn's Pizza. Uh-huh. And go to the YMCA. Yeah. We'll see what else we find to do today. All right, we made it to Walmart. Now, let's hope that the machines are all working. And Craig's going very fast. I get distracted by the mums. Are really pretty. We're the only ones here. And it looks like yeah. they're all working. So yeah. that's a big plus. Yeah. Okay. We got it going. It's making a loud noise, but it's working. There we go. All right. We're almost done with no problems have to cash in our cans and take a look around Walmart. Looks like they have their Halloween stuff out. Looks like, looks like Craig's headed for the DVDs. That, this is the first time I've seen pedos anywhere except um, through Weight Watchers or um, on Amazon. Pedos are so delicious.
Craig loves these. They taste like Funyuns, but they actually have some nutrients and they're pretty good in calories. We were getting the little single serve bags, but they're getting pretty expensive. But I think we'll get one of these. Look, Craig, they have pedos. <gasps> Pedos. Yeah. They have fiery curls. They have pizza rings. Fiery line. You see pizza rings? Yeah, crunchy pizza rings. Right there. Show me because I can't see. You grab them. Oh, that's why I couldn't see. Oh, we definitely need to get those. All right. We might have to get two of those. Here's the benefits. They have two times the protein and three times the fiber as uh, other chips that are like this. It's 120 for 18 chips. Let you look at that. Not too bad. And they taste great. Looks like they have lots of pink sauce on clearance. For five fifty, I have no idea how much it was to begin with. I've never had it. It says it was a TikTok sensation, and also on Instagram. If you've tried pink sauce, let me know. It says it's made from it's sweet and tangy sauce, vibrant with dragon fruit and spices. Hmm. Of all things, Craig's playing with a little baby down there. <laughs> and he was doing that at Dollar General lately, too. And he's giving it a hug. <laughs> you like those babies? Oh, it reminds you of Livy? Oh. That's so sweet. And it looks like... Oh, Craig found another hourglass. Craig's listening to nothing but Halloween commercials today. There's a pumpkin pail, a witch, and a ghost that glows in the dark. What inside is that? Is it a snow globe? No, what is that inside? I can't even tell. Oh, it's skulls. The end. I like those pictures. Wait. I mean, they are $7.98 each. Oh, that is really cute. Mm. They even have Halloween mushrooms. These things are everywhere. Mushrooms, that is. This is cute. If you're into gnomes, of course they have gnomes. They have these little uh, solar. They're solar, right? And when this, when they're in the sun, um, this one probably dances a little bit. Probably, I bet this one maybe flaps his wings. These are really cute. Oh, look at this little light. <laughs> I just knock them all over, great. Okay. Well, it's not working. Let's see if any of them are. Let's try a different one. This one does. Oh, I like that. Wouldn't this be cute in a, like a child's room or a teenager? Walmart's doing good with their Halloween stuff. These are really cute. Like they had these at Home Depot or something like these. Sugar Skull. I never can think of what that's called. Sugar Skull Cat and Dog. They have some actual skeletons more of the I don't know I think it's like kind of like childish looking but very fun I think it would be fun to decorate your kids room or a dorm room look at these eyeballs are they planters there's no coal I'm not sure what you use these for just decorative but they are darling they're by Hallmark and they have these cute plushies look at that cute ghost 
some Nightmare Before Christmas blow molds. These are cute. Um, they are $39.98 each. And so many Nightmare Before Christmas decorations this year. <laughs> Stranger Things. Of course, Chucky and Stitch. <coughs> I like the dinosaur. They have the giant That's skeletons me. that were really popular last year. They're $88. There's a scary clown. Lots of... Craig was just asking me last night. Uh, Craig, what Halloween skull were you asking me about that we have? Goober. Goober. It's a goat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because Craig puts some Halloween decorations in his room, too. He's anxious for Saturday when we decorate. Some more of the plastic masks. Craig, if you had to choose one of those masks, which one would you choose? Should I use the skull? Okay, put it on so we can see. Let's see. <laughs> I like it. Does his mouth move? If you open your mouth, does his mouth open? <laughs> no. It's hinged like it should. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. There you yeah. go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you got to hear them. It's like they're just starting to get their um, Halloween costumes in. These are ones for little kids. Man, Buster sounds different. I think Livy would like these boots. <laughs> so cute. Okay. <laughs> Pretty frozen dress costume. And there's even a bell costume that's really cute. And it looks like this is the candy aisle. Nerds candy corn. I wonder, is it like candy coated? Because it kind of looks like it. Yes, it says. Candy shell, soft and chewy inside. Hmm. That might not be bad. They have some of the not so delicious candy corn if you saw our taste test. I wouldn't recommend it. Here's my question. So this year, we decided we are going to give out full size candy bars. In the past, I've always made like treat bags, but I think it would just be easier for Craig if we just gave each kid a full-size candy bar. So, if you were to get a full-size candy bar for a trick-or-treat, which one would you prefer? I've been thinking just Hershey bars because, I mean, even little kids can eat Hershey bars. <coughs> and don't have to worry about, like, peanut butter allergies and that type of thing. Although, I love peanut butter. And these are the very best thing ever. <laughs> I love those. I mean, they have variety packs. <laughs> so let me know what you think. Okay. Look, they have the maple creams. Definitely have to get those for Joe. Try. <laughs> and look, they have cinnamon cream. Well, that's awesome. They have all of them. They have the caramel apple and the pumpkin spice. I went right by those earlier. I like this light you can put on your pumpkin. It makes it look like it's flaming. I do really like that. Hmm. We might have to get one of those for our pumpkin this year. Having lunch at Wins today. I haven't been here in a while and that's one of our... So I have a question from one of our Canadian viewers, and they would like to know, would you like to visit Canada? No. Never heard of place. You never heard of Canada? Well, i never been there. I know. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to ride the train through oh, Canada. i never been to Canada. Yeah. I think it would be fun to visit someday. Do you know anything about Canada? Do you have the Disney Channel in Canada? <laughs> I don't know, but they have a theme park, right? Is that the, the yeah, Canada Wonderland? Park. Yeah. They used to have Yogi Bear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you would have loved that, wouldn't you? 
Yep. What do they have at that theme park now? Do you know? Roller coasters. Mm. I'm going to have to watch a video on it sometime. Mm -hmm. Also, they'd like to know, would you like to have a beaver tail? Now, I'm not sure if that means, would you like to have a tail like a beaver? Yeah. You would? <laughs> slapping you as beaver dams. <laughs> um, or would you like to own a beaver tail? I like to own a beaver tail. There's also a Canadian pastry called a beaver tail, and we had that at Universal Studios. Do you remember it was a like a piece of fried bread and it had the Nutella on it? It had cinnamon and sugar and Nutella, I think. That was one of our favorite things. And I was thinking maybe we could try and make a beaver tail someday. Yeah. That'd be a good thing for our cooking. Um, one of our viewers would like to know, do you remember a time when you needed something but you weren't able to ask us? No. Like, do you remember back when you weren't able to talk? Can you remember that time? No. No memories of that time. Do you remember anything from when you were five years old? Yeah. What do you remember when you were five years I old? I don't know. <laughs> you don't remember. I don't remember much from when I was five years old either. Except for going to kindergarten and crying. Yeah. Because I didn't want to leave my mom. You didn't cry though. Nope. Nope. So I try to make friends, right? Yeah, you did. You liked kindergarten and all the rest of school too. Now, Stephanie has told me how delicious the crab rangoons are. So instead of getting the egg rolls today, which are an absolute favorite of ours, we're trying the crab rangoons. It probably is pretty hot, buddy. Is it hot? Mm -hmm. mm. What do you think? Tastes delicious. I cut it in half so you can see the middle. It's very good. It's a little heavier, um, I don't know what to call this dough or than a lot of places have. It's very tasty. And they have lots of filling and it actually has crab meat in it. As you can see, Craig wore the perfect shirt for today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bottom says, it says, I'll just have the- Chicken strips. Yeah, chicken tenders, but chicken tenders. same thing. Here is the pizza I ordered. I ordered a medium so I can take some home to Joe. And maybe the girls will eat it too. It looks so, so good. One half is Canadian bacon and pineapple also probably called ham and pineapple and the other side is cheese <laughs> if only you could smell it here are craig's favorite chicken strips he also enjoys the piece of toast with it and the fries have a nice seasoning it's a very good meal he's getting open his honey mustard I bet a chicken strip is going to take a dip soon. There it goes. Give me a good, uh, a good explanation. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Some ketchup for the fries is one of my very favorite places to eat. Um, it's one of two of my favorite pizza places. So, Wins, and there's a place called Bordenaro's in Des Moines. We've actually done a video there, and I'm sure we'll be going again in the future. But they have similar crusts, and they are just both really delicious. Joe agrees with me too. Those are his favorites too. Mm -hmm. Okay, Craig, can you give us a review of Wins Pizza? Wins Pizza is the best restaurant. The chicken strips and fries taste delicious. The waitress seems nice. I give it two thumbs up, five stars, and a Craig A. Pamper silver approval. I agree. It was delicious, as usual. Our next stop is, I think we're going to visit Mini Hands Thrift Market a little bit, and then we're off to the YMCA. Give you a little look. We are in Indianola. I don't know if I mentioned that, but if you watch our channel, you know that Wins Pizza is in Indianola, which is oh about 20 minutes from where we live. We arrived at the Many Hands Thrift 
market. I was thinking we'd been here before, but it just doesn't seem familiar to me. But there is one in West Des Moines, so it's probably what I'm thinking of. Good deal. It's nice. This looks very nice. They have some decorator items right here. I think maybe these are ones that... Um, these aren't really thrift items, but one that they have actually made to sell here. I like that. That's very pretty. Let's see. I don't see a price on it, though. Looks like Craig's already found the DVDs over here. Here they have some toys. Lots of books. This is so nice in here. And they have a lot of like bags of toys here. Basically McDonald's toys it looks like or Burger King. Fast food restaurant toys. We have a bag of three Barbies. That's five dollars. Let's see if I see anything on the shelves interesting. So far not. There's a cheerleader Minnie Mouse. Oh, this is cute. And I don't see a price. Oh, look at this Dora camera book. I don't think it works though. No, looks like it needs batteries. They have a pretty uh, fall Halloween display. It's kind of pretty. Let's see. It's cute, Dracula. <laughs> and they want six forty nine for that. Not a lot of Halloween, mostly just some fall stuff. This is a cute, um, like a door hanger thing. Right there, there we can see it better. I like that. And that is $3.49. This looks like a very old mixer. I wonder if it works or if it's just like for decoration. Yeah, it says not for use on it. And they want $25.29. I think these are kind of cool, but I don't know really what are they used for. Is it like to put bread in? Not for baking bread, but maybe like for putting your bread on the table. I like them. They're like, what are they? $3.39. So they're very affordable. Ready to go, but he forgot he had to look at the toys. Oh, that's a cute dinosaur with a hat. That reminds me of Daniel Dinosaur. Is that who it is? That's Bob the Dinosaur. Oh, what's he from? I don't know. Oh, it just has his name on him. What's his name? Is that from Dr. Seuss? Is he from Dr. Seuss, Craig? Yeah, oh, say, can you say? Looks like the stuffies oh, are three for two dollars or a dollar each. Rah. And in the same parking lot is a Dollar General, so we're just gonna check it out right quick because it looks like a nice new one. It's like they have some Halloween things out too. All things are so pretty. Like, I think this is a pretty bowl. I don't have anything too exciting for Halloween yet. But sometimes they have some fun and unusual things here. This is funny. Funny bowl. That's funny. That 
is fifteen dollars. Check out that. Wow! <laughs> is that scary? <laughs> I like it so. I'm to show you these cute squishies, and they're only a dollar each. Oh, they're so much fun. And I think I'm going to get them for Livy and Josie because I could see Josie carrying these around. These are cute for three dollars. See how his eyes light up? I really like it. I like it because he's wearing the top hat. It's probably too. the nicest Dollar General I've ever been in. It's so neat and well stocked. So many of them I've been to in Des Moines in particular, are just a wreck. This one's well taken care of. I realize it's probably fairly new, but they must have uh, plenty of staff and good staff that care about how it looks. Look, they already have some Christmas things out. Met the Fraggles, and they're also from Fraggle Rock. Okay. But it does say now hiring. <laughs> Which I feel like every place has a sign like that right now. Right, finally, I keep calling this the YMCA, but it's actually called Indianola Wellness Campus. But it's the same thing we've always been going to. They just changed the name. Here we are. We got our choice of treadmills. Let's do it where we're side by side, Craig. Craig. Why don't you do this one and I'll do this one. So we're right next to each other. Craig gets down to business when he gets here. Craig's just getting warmed up. And now, I think we're done for the day. And we're gonna head home so we can see Josie and Livy. This book is called Fergal and the Bad Temper by Robert Starling. This is Fergal. What a nice dragon. He's a friendly little fellow. But when someone tells him what to do, Fergal gets very, very angry. Like when his dad said, Fergal, come down to you for your dinner. But Fergal wanted to keep playing. And then he said Fergal had to eat all his vegetables if he wanted dessert. Fergal felt fiery. It's not fair! I don't want to eat my grains! So Fergal didn't get any dessert and he didn't get any dinner either. Fergal got in a pickle on the soccer field. Your, goal, your goalkeeper. It's not fair, said Fergal. I don't want to be the cool goalkeeper. Fitz Fiery Temper got Fergal into trouble all over town. He had to wait for them to cool Fergal. Foom! He had to miss a turn, Fergal. Shroom! Whenever he went, Fergal just couldn't keep his cool. Finally, his friends had had enough. Everyone's ignoring me, Mom, said Fergal. It's not fair. Well, Fergal, dinner's is in the trash. Bears' packed pastries are burned, and no one can play soccer, and that's not fair. It's not fair. We all get fiery, sighed Mom. Huh, but we find a way to cool down. My trick is to count to ten. The next day, Fergal felt fiery again. That's not... But when then he remembered his mom's trick. It's trick. One, two, three, four, five. And then he didn't feel so fiery. It had worked. Fergal no noticed lots of animals had their own ways to cool down. When Crow felt fiery, he told about his friends about it. When Fox felt fiery, he watched the sunshine. Wolf always found a nice quiet spot and made a big noise. Okay, the cat laid back and had a really good stretch. And then there was Hare, 
whizzing about stopped her feeling fiery, feeling fiery in the first place. Now Fergal had lots of ways to cool down, and when he didn't waste on this as far on being angry, he found there were much more interesting much things to do with it. The end.